Today I want to show you some really cool builds in The Sims 4. So for some context, I did a shell challenge a couple of weeks ago. And if you're unfamiliar, a shell challenge is pretty simple. Basically, I build a box, usually a pretty weird box, as you can see by this one. And I put it on the gallery and I say, okay, go, turn this box into something. You've got pretty much free reign as well. You can rotate the lot, put it on a bigger lot, you know, add roofs and platforms and foundations and all of that. The only thing that you can't do is change the existing walls. So say for example, you didn't like this little bump out, you absolutely could not get rid of it. Cheater. But what you could do is add, I don't know, a, a foundation in this area to make it into a little patio. Does that make sense? Everything else was fair game though. You just couldn't adjust any of these exterior walls. You could add interior walls to make sure you had a floor plan. You just couldn't change the outside. The shell had to stay the same. And the fun part of shell challenges is that everyone does so many different things. Like I built a haunted house with mine. On the gallery, I saw museums. I saw bars modern mansions, we saw little tiny cottages. I mean, like, people did so much with this. And it's just so cool that it was all the same house, but everyone did so many cool different creative things. I love shell challenges. This is not my first one, and it will not be my last, so I can link some of the other shell tours down below too if you want to watch them. But today I want to show you some of my favorites that I saw in the gallery, starting with, in my opinion, a very special one. Here we have a build by, um, L Little Smimsy on the gallery. This is mine. <laughs> this is what I did with the shell. I made this this sort of like Tudor style older house. You can kind of see some of those original parts like that pointy bit from the second floor. Down here in the front was that little two by one area. I rotated the lot and here was my interior. The interesting part is that floor plans are always super hard with shell challenges like this because obviously you can't expand the house to make it more normal. You're kind of stuck with what you have. So this is what I ended up doing and I did make a build video on this so I'll link that too. But now that you've seen mine, I think it'll be fun to show you everyone else's because they are very different. Quick disclaimer, there were a lot of entries into this shell challenge, like more than is physically possible to look at. I always do my best with this, but there's just not enough time in the day to look at them all. And also the gallery breaks. I'm sure you've noticed this, but after a certain point, the gallery just stops loading them. So I try and do stuff like filter by different lot sizes and different lot types so I can see more options. But again, after a certain point, the gallery just doesn't scroll anymore. And then what do you do? This is a pretty common problem with the gallery. I can't even see all of my own builds on my gallery. Like when I'm trying to look for my own builds, I can't even find them because they just don't appear anymore. So you can imagine that the shell challenge with like thousands of entries on the gallery hashtag is probably not gonna work so well, but I really did my best. So I guess what I'm saying is please don't feel sad if I didn't get to yours. I swear it wasn't on purpose. And I also did a long stream where I toured a bunch of people's shells and we did them randomly. So I did like a randomizer to pick people in chat. So if you want to see that, I can link that too. And like I said, this is not my last shell challenge. Don't worry. All right, with that being said, let's get into it. I'm gonna show you these in no particular order, by the way. They're just ones that I found in like, there's not like a number one or a number 10. They're just fun. This one here is the Base Family Modern Home by Anair 3 on the gallery. So keep in mind, this one is base game and you can see already, this is incredible. It's on a 40 by 30 lot. So I'm gonna go pop it in somewhere in Willow Creek. And um, are you seeing this? <laughs> like, are you kidding me? So when you first walk up to the house, there's this like amazing rounded driveway and you'll see they did a lot of terrain manipulation. So we have this pond and it looks like like it's multiple levels. We have this like pathway curving up to the stairs, the gate and the mailbox. Like what? Hello? You would never believe this is the same shell as mine, but it is. When you look at it from top down view, you can see this part right here is that little two by one that I put. You can see the pointy bit. No spoilers though for the inside. Let's look at the outside first. Also the roofing they did is so incredible. It is so hard to do the roofs of shell challenges because they're not designed to have a roof. Like usually when you build a house, you sort of build it, or at least I do, kind of imagining how the roof will look, but the shell challenge is the opposite. It's just a box. And then you have to like figure everything else out from there. So it's like backwards way that most of us build. So it's so cool to see how people see these things. I mean, look at this part right here. Hello? <laughs> Okay, so the back has a really big pool. They've got like a sunken hot tub as well. I just think this kind of thing is so clever, the way they have like used platforms to make all these different areas. I honestly cannot get over it. Also, there's like a little playground area over here. I'm, I just, come on. They even made a fake garage. You know how they did this? They sized that one up. So it looks like normal sized, but really it's like in the ground. I don't know, I'm just really impressed. So let's go inside the house. You walk up the pathway and it takes you into this like formal entryway where the staircase is. They also have turned that little two by one into 
into a little shoe coat closet. There's a side door onto one of the patios. We've got a little half bathroom. You walk into the back. This is where the living room is. They have a little office right here. The kitchen. You might be noticing, Kayla, how do those cabinets look like that? What is that? They put a painting in front of the cabinets to make them look like wood. That is a, a painting that your Sims have made off the gallery. So it's just like a wood texture and they put it in front of the cabinets so it looks like wood. I mean, come on, the detail on that. This is also a custom built like shelf piece and they actually put stuff on it. We have a dining room over here. They made like a custom cabinet hutch by combining some pieces together. You can just tell this took them so long. They also made a custom transom above this archway, which is so smart. I've never thought to do this. And I really like how that looks because that's like the short archway and they put windows above it to like transom windows. Also this kind of thing, like the little like butler's pantry almost is so realistic in like fancy houses. All those YouTubers in LA have this. You know what I mean? Okay, upstairs, floor plan super well done by the way. And let's not forget they have like these tiny fake rooms added inside of the like roof pieces. So upstairs we managed to get a little like sitting room off of the hallway in that roof piece. And that actually does function. It's not a real room. They didn't add walls. It's just a roof, but it functions. They have a little toddler's bedroom. They made like a fake changing table. Here we have a big bathroom. I love how built in the cabinetry looks in here too. We have this like maybe teens bedroom and they also have their own balcony and this cool sunroom spot with the desk. The parents bedroom has an ensuite bathroom and a walk-in closet. They also have access to that balcony too. And can we just talk about this for a second? I always complain about how short this door is, but they put this window on top of it. We used to only have three swatches on this window. It used to only come in these first three swatches. So I never used it. But now that this window has all the other swatches, you could like combine it to fit these doors in everywhere now. It's a miracle. I'm not kidding. That has like made my day that we can do that now. But anyway, this house is just so cool. And like I said, you would never know it's the same shell. This is the same orientation as my build as well. Like they rotated it the same direction. <laughs> I feel like mine and this one cannot get more farther apart. Next, I want to show you the base game Museum of Rock by player underscore hobbit on the gallery. Description says, welcome to the Museum of Rock, currently showing the new Women of Rock and Diversity Rocks exhibits. Just how clever is this? So you can see also, this is the same orientation as my shell as well. It's rotated the same way. They just made the walls a lot taller, which is allowed by the way. So they've placed this one in San Myshuno. They've got a parking lot. They have this like courtyard space out here. And I love the use of the guitars all sized up as decorations on the outside. And you might be wondering like how on earth did they do this? This build has no custom content. The way they do these paintings is they had their Sims do paint by references. These are of like Sims singing and playing music to make like big custom portraits. And then they size them up. So this is just a medium painting from reference. And then the rest of these are also paint by reference, but it's paint by reference of custom content, which doesn't count as CC. So this build has no CC on the gallery and look at how cool, look at how cool this looks. They made custom signs this way. The detail as well on just like the city aspect of this with the landscaping and like the fire hydrant and the signs, it just is so realistic. So when you first walk inside, it's, it's one big open room, like a lot of museums are, and it is covered in all those custom paintings again. This is so interesting because you can just imagine how long it would have taken to like dress up all of these Sims and get all the angles right to get all these paintings because they have them everywhere all around the outside and they're all different as well. But this is just such a cool idea for a museum and it's functional too because your Sims can come here, they can like paint, they can use the bonsai tree, they can play chess. There's like a little gift shop sort of area. They turned that tiny weird bump out into a bathroom, which makes so much sense. Spot the pride flags, by the way. And then upstairs, they've got another exhibit. Oh, and it's just so cool. It's just, I, I was obsessed with this one. Major props to the creator. Another thing is that I hadn't really considered using platforms to like separate exhibits yet in museums. And they did that so well with like all the weird little bump out pieces in this building to raise them up and then rope them off. Like it's an intentional exhibit. It looks like they wanted this build to always be this shape. Like, I feel like you wouldn't be able to tell that they were stuck with my weird shell. It looks like it was supposed to look this way. And I just think that's so cool. So huge fan of this one. And it's also base game, by the way, they are both base games so far. Next, I want to show you the Autumn Gingerbread House by Aaliyah Chi on the gallery. And this is actually one of my Twitch mods. <laughs> if you know Porium G, my Twitch mod Gabby, they always do this. They always break out the good ones. I had to show you though, because they actually made two. They made a base game version of my shell and this gingerbread version. How could I not show this to you? I mean, look at all their built. Anyway, 
sorry. So here it is. Notice the landscaping, please, for one second. Obviously the main building here is the shell. And this one, believe it or not, is also rotated the same direction mine is. It's the same front of the house as mine and the other ones. <laughs> but you would never be able to tell. I mean, this looks completely different than that museum. Same house, same shell. I don't even know where to start with this. Okay, so peep the pond over here. I was obsessed with this. Some people are just so much better at manipulating terrain than I am. And that I think is a key feature of a lot of these really cool builds is that the terrain is just so well done. Like this house is on layers with the fencing and the balconies and stuff and it just looks so cool. Also like these rounded pieces, the way that she makes the round fence is by taking one of those round floor pieces and then putting a couple of them in to like have it keep rounding around and it just looks so cool. We also have this little parking space for some fancy cars. We have a greenhouse on the side of the build. The detail and the placement of each of these individual debug rocks too to make this like curved path. The double wide picnic table. And this house is very autumnal. I, I love it. Also, here we have a fake tree house, like playhouse thing for some kids. I mean, like, come on, come on. That is so cute. The tree disappears when you get up close, but look at how cute it is with the towel and everything laid down. The side yard has some garden planters. There's pumpkins everywhere. There's just a lot to take in out here. But when you actually go inside the house, you first walk into a hallway, which is like so cozy. This is my perfect sized hallway entry. There's a little toilet right off the doorway. We have another bathroom with a shower and a sink right here. We've got like some shoes and a shelf and a coat rack, like classic things you'd have in an entryway. And then you walk into the kitchen, which is such an interesting use of my stupid space. Like I made this horrible shape and this is a really well laid out kitchen given what you had to work with. <laughs> and it just feels so realistic. Like the, the pet bowls on the mat and this amazing dining room, come on with the lights. Off the kitchen, there's another bathroom. This one's a lot bigger and there's so much detail in the shelves and stuff. I kind of always forget this item even exists with the swabs and cotton balls, but that's perfect. To the left from the front door, we have that living room, which is also very nicely decorated for fall with all the pumpkins and stuff. We have this little office and you know what? I love the wood paneling in here with like the paintings and the boat. Like it just, it comes together really well. There is a bedroom downstairs off that living room. And then upstairs, we've got another three bedrooms. So you can see when you first walk into the hallway, it's like a whole second sitting room. And look at the fire logs, like ready for the fireplace and the decorations on the mantle. I don't have enough patience to decorate this well on the mantle, but that looks so good. There is a really small bathroom upstairs for everyone to share. I assume this is like the parents' bedroom because it's the biggest and they have like a little office nook right off of it. And then we have two more kids' rooms. This one for a little toddler and then this one for maybe like a teen or something. I'm not sure. Oh, I just love this house. There's so many detailed items placed. Like you can just see it and all the detail on the roof pieces all individually placed and the landscaping. Like, can you just imagine how long some of these builds would have taken? Next, I want to show you the spooky shell challenge by Melanie underscore Drake. This one uses just the base game and cottage living. It's a cozy farm for a small family. So um, take a second, take it all in. Again, with the level of detail and also the terrain manipulation. So this is on multiple levels as well. They use a lot of plants to cover up like the terrain when they've raised it, which looks so cool with all the lavender growing out of it. And we have this river through the whole lot and there's like a little old water mill thing. We've got this wedding arch area set up with the hay bales and a chicken coop. <laughs> Also, look at this amazing gazebo. I like the amount of detail here. Look at that. Also over here is where the cows are. They have like their own little well and everything. So when you first walk up, you have to cross this bridge, which is functional by the way, it's a real bridge. You can cross over it and then it takes you this way up some more stairs. We've got some crops growing over here. And then this is the actual front of the house. And I just love how weird it is. I mean, that is a compliment. Like it feels so appropriate to the style of the house. This one's actually rotated differently. You can see this was my front of the house, this side. So They've rotated the lot and I love the like thatched roof with the green window. Oh, it's cute. Okay, so when you actually walk in, you first enter to like a little entryway space and the living room. There's a big staircase and then we have these red sofas. Oh, it's just so nice. And then off of that, there's a little office space that also leads into a bathroom. And then we also have the kitchen and dining space. Okay, can we just acknowledge how good all these windows look? Like the wall of windows is so cool. The dining space with like the, the cottagey stone walls and the size of this kitchen with that giant island is like a dream. Upstairs, we've got a 
few bedrooms. We have this big hallway space that you first walk into with a desk, kind of like an office nook. We have what I assume is the parents' bedroom up here, and then they also have an ensuite bathroom and a huge balcony to come sit on. And then one of the kids' rooms is in this space. They also have an ensuite bathroom and their own balcony, so this kid is a winner. But they said in the description that one of the other kids lives in this area, so maybe it's like the older kid has their whole own little space out here? Now that is cool. I'd be a little bit scared to walk to the bathroom at night, but it's cool. I just can't get over how different all of these lots are. Like, you would never know it's the same shell. Now I want to show you Oasis Paradise by Marlene H20. This one is also base game. I just thought the style of this house was so cool. Like, with the overhanging platforms and stuff going over the lot. I really like the matching wood on the bottom and top of that wall. I just think it looks so cool. So when you first walk up, it is also on a super, super high foundation, and we have, like, this pond sort of space down by it, and they've kind of surrounded the lot in rocks, which makes it look so good. And then you go into the back and as promised, we've got this like oasis paradise with all the landscaping and stuff. This build as well looks like you would never know that it was a shell challenge. Every single piece of it looks so intentional. Like you would never know that it's my fault they had to do some of this because of my stupid box. <laughs> I love how the balcony looks. Like the back just looks so cool. You can see downstairs in the back, they've kind of turned that weird bump out into space for a bar and a grill. And we have a dining table and some music and there's a pool with some loungers. We got this sitting area. And the front door is actually on the side of the house. They also did that thing with the paintings to make like a fake house number. Also these two plans together is just so nice. So when you first walk into the house, they've got like a pretty formal entryway. They also, you'll see, have a lot of custom paintings in here. Again, it's not custom content, it's like paintings of custom content. You can find a lot of things like this, like sets of it on the gallery. This one you can see was made by XX Serena underscore 27 XX. They've got some more in this room by Fruit Loops 40. But off the entryway is this big bathroom, and then you enter into like a living room, staircase, office space, kind of great room almost. They've got a fireplace, they have a huge TV, and then through this next archway is the kitchen, and I just loved the like placement of the the island. It seems like a really well done use of a sort of oddly shaped space, you know? They kind of had this weird room to work with because of my weird shell, and they made it work really well. And they've also placed a bunch of these cabinets but put them backwards so they're all wood. This is just that regular base game cabinet you can see, but they they put two facing each other so it looks like a solid wood piece. They sort of snuck the fridge into that nook. This is that two by one weird nook I was talking about. They put it for the fridge and that looks so intentional. And then through this hallway leads you into the dining room, which is also very fancy. I love all the windows in here. That's like my favorite part. Upstairs, we managed to get three bedrooms. So they have this big hallway, and then through that takes you into the parents' room, and they've kind of got these built-in, like, cabinetry to make nightstands all along the sides. Similar thing in this kid's room with the built-ins. This whole house looks very custom because of that. Like, a lot of houses in real life that are of this style might have that sort of, like, custom built-in cabinetry, and I like that they tried to mimic that in The Sims. It's kind of cool. So we have this awesome, like, long bathroom, which is so nice. They made this, like, fancy fake cabinet, too. Now Another bathroom up here, and then we also have that huge balcony from earlier. I just I am obsessed with the exterior of this house. I think the front of this place looks so cool. Just like, look at that for a second. Isn't that amazing? I, I love the roof. The roof is like by far my favorite part. I need to learn how to do that. Now I want to show you Scandinavian base game home by Lynn Beatrice. A lot of these are base game. I didn't even do that on purpose, but like, look at how good this is. So here we have it. You can see they've also done a ton of terrain manipulation, but look at this. There's like a huge driveway that leads up into a garage in the middle of the house, and the garage is made with little window pieces and curtains. Curtains to mimic the metal part. That's so smart. I've never seen that and it looks so good. All around the house, there's a lot of river. This is like kind of a theme of these. A lot of people put a lot of like rivers and waters and ponds on their builds. They kind of have this like dock in the back with a lot of seating. There's lots of decks and patio space. You can see they have this one with a table and a grill. We've got this pool over here. This is a fun workaround the shell challenge because this is just a a foundation piece and a pool, but it looks like a whole separate building, you know? So they've kind of like added some visual interest to that side of the area without cheating on the shell challenge. So when you first walk up, you can see that you go off part of the driveway and then you go into this room with this sliding glass door over here on this patio space and you enter straight into the kitchen hallway area. And I love the use of like all the black and the like tannish wood color. There's a bathroom right off the front door. Look at these mirrors combined to make this. This is actually a framed photo and they put that on top of the mirror so it looks like a framed 
mirror custom one but it's just those big glass paneled mirrors and and the photo the kitchen is a great shape i just i loved this they made like a custom door as well putting a window there into this dining living great room the garage fully furnished and functional aside from the fact that the cars are fake but <laughs> It looks so cool. I mean, that is a tight squeeze. Good luck getting into this car. You know what I mean? Like, uh, not my problem though, because you can't drive cars in The Sims. These are just for show. They're, they're collector's items, you know? And then upstairs, we managed to get a few bedrooms in here. There's actually three bedrooms upstairs. This floor plan is so hard to figure out because I have this weird pointy room that you can see. That is fully my fault, but they managed to make this work really well. And they made the hallway kind of useful by putting in like some gym equipment. But there's like a teen's room. I assume the parent's room because they have a balcony. We've got two bathrooms rooms up here. One really fancy one with like a jacuzzi tub, a shared kids room. I mean, just all in all, super nice space. I loved the garage though. That is my favorite part. Like that garage is so clever. And I want to show you the Simsy Shell Spa. Going back to another community lot. This one's by SJJM underscore 888. And they built this huge spa for Windenburg. Okay. And just look at this for a second. I love this one. I'm just obsessed with how they've laid out the side of this building to make this amazing outdoor space for the spa. So let's, let's talk about it for a second. They use these concrete mats to make like a fancy walkway. We've got this amazing sign by the fountain. The use of this, the pebble flooring in the fountains is so good. We've got a pool, we've got the loungers, we have the chairs, we've got a yoga class with some music. This sitting area and this like custom gazebo. I'm gonna steal this idea with the glass roof and these panels. Like that just looks so cool. Also these guys sized up off the side. I have never used that item in my life, but that looks so cool. And again, this by the way is the same orientation as the first few builds, including mine. This is the same front that I had with that weird two by one piece, and it's completely different. They also did some layering of windows. They put these tiny windows on top of some bigger ones to make like some custom looking pieces. Also, let's not forget this fountain area over here. I This part was really weird, this like little area that kind of overhang off the side, but they managed to make it look so intentional. I don't know. I just, I'm obsessed with this one. Okay, so when you first walk in, you walk straight into a fountain that you would then walk around, and they did a lot with like this zen garden space inside and the bar. We have this like kind of private massage area in the back. When you come over to the left over here, they've got like a little sitting area with some magazines, like kind of a waiting area, I assume. We also have the bathroom, which has some like kind of sneaky showers and some toilets. And this is a really nicely laid out space in my opinion. It's very realistic. Also the sauna is off the bathroom, which makes so much sense. I feel like in real life, I always have a hard time placing my saunas in the Sims, but this one, this one makes sense. Okay, and then you go upstairs and up here we have a lot more like massage chair and table type things. So there's like another sitting area plus some of these massage chairs to get your nails done or your, you know, your feet rubbed or whatever. <laughs> and I just think this gravel with the rocks and the cactus plants looks so cool. I don't know. I was really pleased with how this was laid out. I just thought this one was so like one functional, but also realistic. I just, I loved this. Next, I want to show you Cabin in the Desert by Trixie506. I just loved this. Like the rocks on the front blend in so well with the rocks behind it. It, like the, the gallery image of this one is so good. It looks so natural. Unfortunately for the roomies household, uh, they're gonna have to die. Oh, I might have to get rid of them. Goodbye, my friends. Okay, so just take a second to take that one in. I feel like I might need to bring a sim here to get the full effect because you'll see they also put in all of these ponds, the spawners. So there's like fish in this pond, you can fish in the pond. There's ducks in this one. We got dragonflies by this one. Tadpoles over here. Like they've really made this look so lively and I just am obsessed with it. I can't believe what I'm looking at, you know? And the water goes all the way around. In the back, there's a bunch of balconies and an outdoor space to sit in, which is nice because I guess, you know, <laughs> Most of the lot is taken up by rocks and water, so you don't have much of a yard, but you've got some beautiful balconies. Also, this glass roof and all the glass windows, I just thought that was so cool. I feel like I daydream of coming to visit a place like this, you know? Anyway, notice again the water and like the multiple levels that they've done. I don't know how to do this, but it always looks so cool. I need to like take notes on this <laughs> so that I can pull it off next. But you walk up this kind of winding staircase, you know? And then when you come into the house, you walk into this big sort of entrance hall with some nice stairs. There's a little balcony right off the entry, which is super nice. And then to the right is the like kitchen and dining area. And can I just say, I always forget about these little guys, but that is so cute. This was part of like a collectible, 
event that they did a while ago with Jasmine Holiday. So these are in debug. They've got a bunch of them and look at the little decorations they put up because it was like a Halloween sort of themed shell. Obviously like all the shells aren't Halloween themed but that is why I did the shell challenge. So it's fun to see like the little touches of decor in some of these places. There's a bathroom in the hall. They also use this swatch of that like plant wallpaper and I've never used the gray one but it looks really good. Do you know what I mean? We've got a couple living spaces too. One like more formal one in this sitting area by the windows so you can you know look at the rocks. <laughs> and then we also have this TV area. This thing, this is a cat from Debug. So they put like a fake cat sitting on the chair. And then upstairs we've got a couple of rooms. We have this nice hallway. I think this upstairs layout is really well done. I had a hard time with mine but I've shown you a lot of really good ones today. I think that people did well with the floor plans in this house. There's a lot of decoration in the hallways like a lot of clutter and stuff. To the left we've got a little bathroom also with lots of clutter with like all of the the nail polish and the hair tools and we've got the toddler potty next to the big potty. <laughs> this first kids room is very yellow. Also very cluttered like lots of detail in the decorations. You can tell it looks really lived in and like people enjoy this space and actually play in it. I love the shelf next to the bed. Same thing with that kind of like built-in vibe they've gone for and also the curtains by the bed is pretty cool. It kind of gets that like four poster but maybe a bit more simple kind of idea. Then we have the parents bedroom. A lot of people had the like main bedroom in this like weird pointy room that I made. <laughs> I've noticed a lot of people did that in like all of the shelves. The parents have an ensuite which is huge and their own private balcony. And then this is the youngest kids room. The description said that it looks like a unicorn threw up in there and you know what? I, I appreciate and support that choice. This is real nice. Anyway I just I was obsessed with this bill. I thought it was amazing with all the detail on the outside so I wanted to show you. We've got another farm. This one is by Retro Sims YT. It's also just called Spooky Shell Challenge because that's what my shell was called. But they did a speed build on YouTube so I'm gonna link that down below if you want to watch it. Oh I just I just love a good farmhouse. So you can see the whole lot is like very detailed. Also all of these fence pieces are from Debug so they've made like a, a completely custom fence. So we have this like huge entryway to the lot, which I never use this item. I feel like I should try. But you walk in, they've got like this truck with the hay and stuff in the back. They use a lot of the debug mushrooms and landscaping from Cottage Living. I loved how this farm area looks, how they've layered the plants together with like them kind of crisscrossed, but that was super clever. Also, all the terrain paint is so well done. We have, of course, a pond with loads of life in it. When we're in game, you would see all these ducks and the fireflies and the dragonflies and the fish and everything. Over here to the left, they've actually made a garage, which is very realistic for a farm like this. And they put these huge doors. These ones are actually from Snowy Escape and they work super well as garage doors. I've seen a lot of people do that. Going further along, we've got some more plants. These time are some trees. And they made this greenhouse with these windows and they put like fake doors. This is just a wall like this with some windows on it and they just left it open so it looks like open doors. I just thought this was awesome. These are also room dividers, but with the tool mod to, you know, <laughs> do this with them. Over here is a fake rabbit hutch. Look at that. Look at that. Isn't that so fun? We've got some cows over here. Back this way, some more tractor pieces, some more crops. I mean, the, the detail on the outside of this lot alone is just amazing. So when you actually walk up, it's got pink and I love the pink shutters. And it's just like the right amount of weird, and I mean that in a, a very nice way. Like this kind of house is kind of whimsical looking, and I love it. Okay, so this is the same front as mine, by the way. You can see they've got that same two by one piece right there. And there's a big sort of wraparound porch area. But when you actually walk up, you come into this entryway. They have a little side door and the staircase in here. To the left is a huge kitchen with so much clutter and detail. We've got this little dining room sort of right here. This is kind of similar to the layout that I did in my house, but just like a completely different style. I also had the kitchen over here. Mine had like a big hallway in this space. I had an office down here. This was my dining room. Like it's just so funny to see how people split theirs up. We've got a bathroom down here. The detail and like the radiators and the clutter, like they stacked the basket on top of the towels. This kind of thing just excites me. And then in here we've got a big fireplace again with some seating next to it. We've got the little TV area. Upstairs they managed to fit in like two bedrooms and an office. So they have like twin toddlers living here. The toddlers have a balcony off their room. <laughs> but the parents also have access to the balcony from their room. Parents have an ensuite and there's like a little office upstairs too. I just, I think this house is great. I can't get over the lot. I want to play in this lot, you know? I want to like come play with a farm family and live here. All right, and the last one I want to show you today is the Autumn Leaves Shell by S. Bartlett 87. S. Bartlett always knocks it out of the park with the shell challenges. They do one like every time. And I actually toured this one randomly on my stream. So I mentioned that I was doing random shell tours on stream, like randomizing people's names like out of a hat to tour their shells on stream. And this is one of the ones I 
pulled up randomly. I feel like this autumn build is perfect for the last one of this autumn shell tours, you know? So take a second, take it all in. Same thing with the river around the side. So many people do that and it looks so good. They've got some like custom bridges going on. Your Sims can actually walk across that. Over here, I love this little garden area, kind of like snuck off in the corner. This seems like something that I could implement in my builds too, which I try to like take note of things that I think are interesting ideas and like remember, hmm, maybe I should try that. And I like, I like this. I might not be able to pull off the river, but I can pull off a little sneaky garden corner, <laughs> you know? All the pumpkins too. You can just imagine how long it took to place all these things. So on the outside over here, we've got like a little patio space. It's got a table and a grill and a flower arranging table and some dog toys, like everything. Around the side, we've got some more patio space. This one's got like a chess table and a rocking chair and an easel. Back here, we've got a barn. We've got some more trees to plant, a swing set, some more farm area over here. These are like fake, right? But you could obviously, you know, grow real plants there if you wanted to. We've got like a two-story balcony thing going on. I mean, I just, come on. Also, this is a fake barn. So they also tried to make the house look like a bit bigger by adding in that fake barn because obviously you can't add rooms to a shell challenge. That was kind of smart, I thought. All right, inside though. Oh my goodness. So when you first walk in, straight into an entryway with the staircase, we also have the laundry right here, which I thought was super clever. You almost like don't even realize it's there. And then it's like this super functional area. Down the side, we've also got a lot of platforms in here. They've got these beautiful doors, which take you into like an office bedroom sort of combo. And this bathroom, which is just so nicely decorated. I love the color scheme. This one, I couldn't get over. I just, I love how they tried to split the space because you kind of have this oddly shaped room like how are you going to furnish it and they use these windows from snowy escape to make these fake dividers to kind of get two separate spaces also lots of custom paintings in this house you'll see that's kind of a trend around a lot of these shell builds but when you go off to the side we have this open floor plan kitchen living dining area the living room is so cozy looking the kitchen is incredible i love the shape of it the island is huge like this is just so nice also please note double ovens we have the round dining table. All these paintings are so nice. They managed to sneak the door to the outside into that weird little two by one space that I put in the shell. Also, I never use this huge window. That looks so good there. Upstairs, we've got three bedrooms. I thought the layout of their bathrooms was notable because they managed to sneak two bedrooms into this really weird like S shape they had left over. And I thought that was super smart. Like it's so hard to fit rooms into these tiny tight corners in a shell challenge, but they managed to make two bathrooms there. And we have like three sort of small bedrooms upstairs. We got this one kid's bedroom right here. Very cluttered, full of toys to play with. We got a big parent's bedroom, another like parents or teens room. Maybe this is the parents room because it's got an ensuite. <laughs> I don't know. We got three bedrooms upstairs, another one downstairs. I just, I'm obsessed with this house. I love the solar panels too. There's a lot of personality in these. Now I could just go on and on about shell builds forever, but I won't keep you for too long. I showed you 10. I will have all the names from the gallery of the users and the lots that I just showed off listed down below in order so you can find them if you want. And again, if I didn't show off yours in this video, please don't feel bad. It's just not possible to show them all. And also don't feel bad about how your build looks based on these because listen, I literally build in The Sims for a living and I feel like a loser when I look at my houses compared to these. Some people are just on another level, you know? And that's okay. But let me know, should I do another shell challenge soon? Because I had a lot of fun with this. I think I might do one in like December, maybe early December. And I'll also have some past shell challenges linked down below too if you'd like to watch shell tour videos. I've got loads of them. It's just fun to look at pretty builds. And with that being said, I will catch you all tomorrow. Bye everybody. Oh my goodness, I am so sorry this video took so long to get out. I had to record it twice because I lost the footage the first time. Isn't that lovely? Don't you just love when that happens?